Wedged at the nexus of the 110 and 101 freeways in Los Angeles sits Downtown Magnets High School. Uh, good morning. Good morning. All right, so we're going to learn some stuff today. As you can see, uh, America's best looking teacher program is back in the building. <laughs> The fact that Daniel Joseph's students are familiar with TV cameras shouldn't come as a surprise. He's received all kinds of media attention since being named California's Teacher of the Year. Teaching is the only profession where you win an award and you get more work, more stress. Like, I think it's giving me more gray hair and I'm losing more of my hair, as you can see. Uh, but I'm real thankful because I'm able to shine a spotlight on what we do here at this school, what we're doing in LAUSD, and public schooling in general. You're going to take a position on that statement. Joe himself is a product of the Los Angeles Unified School District. He's taught here for 13 years. His creative teaching style aims to make the past relevant to the present for the students in his advanced placement history class. Anybody on these uh, ends of the spectrum, jump on in. A push is not a new street gang that you should be afraid of. It is AP US history. Uh, I majored in history at UCLA. A push is the hardest class. I, I never took a class as hard as, as A push or AP US history. We have a wall of fame over there that has the last year's crew. We had a pass rate of 91%, and the national average is around 48, 49%. The district average is around 38%, and we let every kid test. Every kid who wants to be in the class is in it. It was pretty fun. You know, I like learning about our country's past and all the good things, all the bad things. And I think it's pretty useful so that that way we can learn how to make uh, decisions in the future. I had heard from other students who had taken the class that it was a really fun class. Even though it was hard, like, you learned a lot from it. Joe has a really outgoing personality and he's really hip, even though he doesn't intend to be it. He goes out of his way to do a lot of extra things like create videos in, in case you, you've checked out his YouTube channel. This may be Jose's most visible achievement and the closest a high school teacher may ever get to international YouTube stardom. An eclectic mashup of cartoons, photos, pop culture, propelling students through the tough curriculum. I started for my students because they were struggling. So you can't take Mr. Jo Joe's home with you, nor would you want to, nor does he want to. But if you need help and it's five o'clock, you can go on this channel and get some additional support. I started it for my students, but it's blown up. Now it's like nearly a million minutes are watched per week by students and teachers across the country. I really, really like the YouTube channel. I think that's my favorite thing that he does because it gives a very big overview on the material and then he goes into depth the next day. For Joe's, the channel represents what he'd like teaching to become, an endeavor that spreads outside the classroom, influencing students, amplifying teachers' voices and impact. It comes at a price. And that's the thing, time. This is literally like late at night, I'm done grading, done lesson planning, done spending time with my wonderful, beautiful wife, and now I'm gonna go in the back room and tell my dog don't bark so I can record this video. Since the TVA was the federal government. In April of 2016, Jost made history of his own. His travel destination then was the White House to be honored as one of four finalists for National Teacher of the Year. Thank you. Uh, we had that experience, that surreal. Uh, hung out with Vice President Joe Biden at the Vice President's Mansion. It was just an honor to be at the White House to, to shake the president's hand, to meet with education leaders, and then to really kind of see teachers celebrate in a way that, you know, I wish could happen more often into all my colleagues. Because we, we're putting in this work and it's hard. It's the hardest job there is, I think. Joe's didn't win that top prize, but it might not have sat well with him anyway. It required the winning teacher to leave the classroom for a full year to serve as a traveling advocate for public education. Jose is on the same mission, but is enacting change right here. I'd like to hear from a few people we have not heard from. So start us off someone. Why are you where you are? This career, this profession, is it's a participation sport. And that's from the students to the parents to the teachers and the policymakers. Come to these public schools and see the great work that's being done. Teachers speak up about all the cool things that are happening yell it, scream it, Twitter, social media, call Congress because um, we have a great institution, public education to protect.